Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Beckers and I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to create a screencast. Uh, there is an extension within Chrome that allows you to do that called Screencastify. You can add Screencastify if you're not yet seeing this orangish arrow icon on your Chromebook, whether it's a school issued Chromebook or a personal one or a laptop. As long as you have Chrome, you have the ability to add this um, extension. So. Again, if I go to screencastify.com and this would say add now, um, I already have it installed. So it says that clearly on this button. Once it's installed, you'll see it up there. And then basically you're just going to go to your presentation and you're going to follow these steps. So once that extension is um, installed, you're just going to want to click that to begin. Once you have your presentation in line, you've got your slides in order, you've rehearsed what you're going to say. And once you click on that extension, you'll have the option then to add that microphone, embed your webcam, and you'll see that the audio is displaying here. This green tells me that it's live. And if it's not, maybe just toggle between um, other settings to see if you can get it to work. Click record when you're ready. You're going to see the webcam show up in the bottom right. You will need to select a screen. So I'm using two monitors. Um, if you obviously have one, you'll just click the screen one and click share. It's going to count me down. You hear this kind of timer start and you'll see this little stop sharing button on the bottom. When you're done, you'd click stop sharing. So this is when I would just open up and I would say, welcome to my presentation. I've got a lot of rich information to share. I'm going to begin. You'll kind of walk through your presentation. When you're feeling done, you're just going to click this little blue button at the bottom. For me, I hope you're able to see that where it says stop sharing. Now, the nice thing about Screencastify, because it works with Google Chrome, it also syncs to Google Drive. So you're going to see that it is loading into Drive and you'll notice within Drive now you have your own folder called Screencastify. So there are kind of lots of options to do, including downloading this if you wanted to do some editing, for example. But basically all you want to do is go to your drive, find your Screencastify folder, and go find the recording that you just did. So if, if it were today, if, if it were this one, which it's not, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to the share settings. And now what I want to do is I want to copy the link. And I want to make sure that my uh, link here is available to everyone in Anoka Hennepin. So I want to make sure that when I share this with my teacher and when I put the link in my presentation with my teacher, that she's able to see that. So I want to make sure that it's uh, Anoka Hennepin Schools and I want to copy that link and I'll click done. Now I'm going to go into my presentation and I'm going to just insert that and I would insert it as a text box. So what I would do is I would just include it here, add the link and to be able to do that. You would just, it would just be ready to go. Okay. Stop into the Innovation Center. I'm located in the IMC right next to the driver's ed uh, computer lab. Uh, you can stop in and ask me questions before school, after school, or uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions. Good luck to you, everybody. This is an exciting opportunity to showcase what you know in social studies.